Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday from Huntsville, Alabama airport. <laughs> um, if you guys missed my video from yesterday, I'll go ahead and post a link to it up here above. We are in Huntsville, Alabama until Thursday. Brian has a show that he has to do here um, tomorrow and Thursday, so we will not be getting out of here until late on Thursday. So it's going to be a late travel day getting home. Um, but uh, so far so good. We are having a really, really good time. We ate uh, a lot of food yesterday, it seemed like. We ate at a really nice sushi restaurant uh, for lunch. Just had a really light lunch yesterday. Um, and then last night for dinner, we went to Rosie's, which was very nice as well. Oh my God, we love Rosie's. Every time we come to Huntsville, that is one of our must do's when we are in Huntsville. We have to eat at Rosie's. So highly recommend if you guys are ever in Huntsville, Alabama, go eat at Rosie's because it is delicious. Um, but I'm sitting here watching two planes took off earlier this morning. I'm assuming there's going to be, well, there's probably going to be more coming in and out all day long. Um, Brian is expecting one of his coworkers that lives in North Carolina, co-worker, same, they work with like the same big company, but um, his smaller software company is in North Carolina. But anyway, he's gonna be here today, which is so funny about this guy. I actually went to high school with him in Algonquin, Illinois. Uh, we graduated both from Jacobs High School, so that is comical. Um, and I had no idea until Brian actually mentioned something to me a couple of weeks ago about it. He goes, hey, do you know Chris? And I said, um, you know, I don't, the name doesn't ring a bell. I said, but let me look and see. But I think he graduated a year before me, so I think he graduated in 91. But um, yeah, we, we both went to school together, so it's gonna be really interesting to um, to see him today <laughs> and go, hey, we went to the same school, didn't know it, and now we're like right here. Who would have thought? But I don't think we were like friends in high school or whatever, but anyway, nonetheless, it's gonna be interesting. Um, but today, Brian is already gone. He is um, already over there at the um, shop that he has to be at because he is setting up all of his stuff that he has to have set up. Um, I said, I'm gonna stay back, take a shower, get myself ready, get myself together. That way, when you're finished, um, you can come back and get me, and then you can go do your thing, and then I can go do my thing if that works out for us today. I was hoping to go to the Space and Rocket Center today, but it's supposed to be super cloudy today, and I'm not not sure if I'm going to squeeze that in today or if I'm going to squeeze that in on Thursday. My mom might be coming in tomorrow, so she and I might be having some lunch tomorrow. So I'm kind of throwing things up in the air here. Not exactly sure how everything is going to go down. Um, I keep hearing like airplanes. I'm not sure if one's landing or if what's going down, but anyway, nonetheless. It's very cool to be here at the airport. It's very quiet though. Um, I don't think that they do uh, like leave flights at night. So um, it was very quiet here, but they did start rearing them up this morning about 6 a.m. And that's kind of what woke us up. But other than that, it's it's been it's been great. Um, we slept really, really well here. Brian turned up the air and I'm about ready to turn it back down. Um, I usually like it about 65 in here. I like it 60, I like it cold. Um, but he wanted it warmed up in here this morning and I don't really know why. But I'm gonna go ahead, I just got out of the shower. Um, for breakfast, we brought our toaster. You can see it right there. We brought our toaster and stopped off at Kroger yesterday and picked up some bagels and some English muffins. Um, we picked up a case of water, um, cream cheese, some peanut butter for the bagels and the English muffins because that is what we are going to be eating for our breakfast while we are here so we do not have to um, spend money um, getting... Oh, did he unplug this or did he unplug me? Did he unplugged me. Um, that way we don't have to spend money on breakfast while we're here. But I'm going to go ahead and get myself together and ready and start my day. So come on, you guys. Let's go do something in Huntsville. Not sure what yet, but we'll figure it out. Let's go figure it out together. Hey, guys. So Brian and I are actually at Buffalo Wild Wings. He actually went and got his hair cut a few minutes ago. Um, so he looks really nice and like cleaned up for this for the um show that he has to do um and his boss is like on his way here not that it matters but um and my hair kind of went flat <laughs> it's really bad um but anyways we're at buffalo wild wings having some lunch and then um i have a uti again so um i had my 
doctor call in a prescription for me. So after we leave here, we're gonna go pick that prescription up so I can get this UTI gone. Because I've actually been fighting it like myself, but it's just not going away. So I thought, mm, an antibiotic would probably be best. So um, I'll share with you guys what we ordered. I just ordered some books from Wings. And um, Brian ordered me and there he is. And I got some potato wedges. And he got some onion rings. Uh oh, he got a phone call. Uh -oh. walking along Bridge Street in Huntsville which is like the little shopping district this is where we stayed last year when we were here but we could not get in this year because the rooms were booked all the rooms were booked but we're just walking along Bridge Street I stopped in the Old Navy really quick and bought a cute dress for maybe dinner tonight or tomorrow and tomorrow for something but they have all these Audis out here and we're looking and trying to guess how much they are before we go look 64. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Is that that's the S5? But it's full of pollen. But yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Pretty. It is nice. Pretty car. Oh yeah, very nice. I love the color. Yep. We love walking on Bridge Street because it's just so pretty through here. And that's the hotel we stayed at, which was the Westin when we were here last time. And then we ate at Texas de Brazil. So nice. Pretty. Why? Oh, okay. Ooh, pretty bathroom. I like the bathroom. It's very pretty. They pull the airplanes out there and then they sit there for a few minutes. Oh, there he goes. He's turning now. He's gonna go out to the runway. So Al knows we're not sitting at the bar. He loves sitting at the bar. <laughs> sitting at a bar, we're gonna be sitting at a table. Yeah, at a table, normal table for people to be, you know, eating. And I'm assuming. So tonight for dinner, we are gonna be eating at Hello. the airport where we are staying, which is so funny. Because this is the airport. So if y'all are ever at the Huntsville, Alabama airport, this is the nice little restaurant that they have. Haven't tried the food yet, but we'll let you know. And then here's their menu. Ooh, so they have fish tacos as an appetizer. Are they really small, I wonder? Oh. And then their beer and wine is on the back. Mm. I haven't even really begun to start researching it totally, but uh, no. just for something different. We gotta do Hey guys! So look at this, you can see behind me. It's so weird. Um, we just had dinner with Brian's, well the guy who owns the company that Brian works for. We just had dinner with him, so it's really, really nice. And now I'm heading upstairs to go to, well, just to kind of get my jammies on, relax and hopefully watch Roseanne um, because I know Roseanne is on so I want to go watch Roseanne the last 15 minutes of it at least get my jammies on and relax and my mom was supposed to meet me tomorrow um, and we were gonna go shopping and have lunch or whatever but my dad's real sick so she's gonna go with him to the doctor and she might meet me um, Thursday for lunch if not then um, she we just we won't be able to have lunch together which is fine I understand 
Um, if my dad is sick, I want her to go with him and take care of him. Um, but anyway, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna go to the Space and the Rocket Center that I didn't get to do today. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna find Roseanne and call it a night. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Nothing very exciting at all. <laughs> Just a little bit of stuff here and there. But thanks again and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey you guys, so it is, I don't know, it's about 10.50 and um, uh, there's a huge, huge storm coming through right now in Huntsville and it was coming through from the, where are we at here, uh, west, so it was coming through from the west, coming through like um, Florence and Athens, Alabama and all that good stuff and Hartzell and all that good stuff. Well, it came through to the airport, which that's where we're at right now. 72 mile an hour winds coming through here. The window, I'm going to show you guys this window. You guys can see this window. See the reflection in the window right there? That window, it was bowing. It was bowing and because the wind was blowing so so hard through here we could see it like moving bowing like this and we heard metal flying through the air oh my god uh oh there was a tree went through a home whoa And there's no power on the other side over here. Um, it's a uh, Wall Triana where we have to get off to get to that business that Brian's doing some stuff at tomorrow. Um, there is no power over there right now. So right now the airport has power and we have power here like right now. But um, but the, right outside of the airport here, there's no power. I'm I'm curious to know if like they have like emergency. I'm sure they have like a emergency stuff for power here but anyway brian had just come up here and um opened up the curtains here and we started looking out and oh my god the lights out here they have like you know big tall lights out here too and those were like bending over now we've lived here we've lived in huntsville before we lived here for about three and a half years and um we've been through some very severe storms coming through here we've been through tornadoes coming through here power outages Ooh, I just saw something fly by Ooh, that was weird um, but anyway yeah so when 2011 when we were about ready to move um, that was when a lot of bad storms came through here we had tornadoes we were out of power for a whole week so they take storms around here very very seriously they take um, tornadoes very very seriously as well okay so right no we have power right now but they out there do not so scary you guys wow unbelievable 70 mile an hour dang dang Ooh. they could i tell you what it's amazing to me the storms that come through here it is amazing they have get some wicked, wicked storms that come through here. Wow. Oh well. Alrighty, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, Brian just took a shower, so we'll, I'm gonna wait, obviously wait for him, but the wind is over. Wind velocity. Good night, guys. Sleep tight. See you guys tomorrow.